silhouette hack that I use constantly and that is thickening up your fonts so that you are able to cut them more easily when you do your vinyl. We've all been there where we go to cut something and we love this beautiful pretty font. It is a little bit thin and then it goes to cut and it is just impossible because it's so tiny and you just wish there was a way to thicken it up. So that's what we're going to go over today. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and selected two different fonts. And as you can see, this one on the bottom, super, super thin right there. That looks like a total nightmare to weed. And then this one right here is, I mean, it's small, but the way that it is, again, this one would just be so hard to weed um, with it, especially with like the little, just like everything. We all know how those ones are. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these and thicken them up. Now there's two different ways that you can do that because depending on what your font is, one is not going to work for everything. So there's actually two different ones. So the first we're going to start with, I'm going to put this one down here is this one right here. Now this one, um, we are going to go ahead and it's again, really, really easy. We're gonna go over here in our panel. Um, I have the business edition, so you might see some extra buttons that you don't have, but that's okay. You can still do this with the free ones. So, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on this little star right here with the border around it. And that is our offset panel. And from our offset panel, we're going to go ahead and select our words right here. And I am just going to go ahead and select offset. Now what's it, what it's going to do is it's going to do different sizes of offset and you get to pick how big you want it. Now the size that I usually always do is anywhere from 0.01 to 0.05, depending on what my font is. Um, I feel like for this one, I have that one selected. I'm going to go ahead and do 0.03. Yeah, I feel good about that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can just kind of slide around, play with it, see what looks good to you and kind of what look you're going for. Once I have it to where I like it, I'm just going to go ahead and select the apply button. And then it is going to go ahead and set that offset. But I don't want all of those on there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this out from here and um, just look at my design here. And I see right here, I've got this little line I don't like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this word, right click, go down to release compound path. And what you're going to see is this little box is now kind of there. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. Now this one looks great and it's all just one piece. Next is this one right here. Now I want to go ahead and keep that circle there. Um, I don't want to keep this one here though. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Release that compound path and delete. Um, I do want to keep this one here though. So now I'm going to go ahead and Select this and see if there's any other, oh, it's like a weird little piece right there. And I just like to do this just to make sure there's nothing else. And if I'm all good, um, I want this to all be all one piece again though. So I'm gonna select it, make sure every box is selected, right click, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make it a compound path again. So that's gonna go ahead and make that one thing on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my original and I'm going to put it back down on top of this, how it was. Just kind of line that up on there. Okay. Just like as centered as you can on there. Now what I'm going to do is select all of this, 
So I've got both layers are selected and I'm going to go ahead and right click and ungroup it. So now it's going to do that. Right click again while it's still selected and I'm going to release that compound path again. Okay. Now from here, I want to go ahead and delete that top original layer. So I'm just going to go through each letter and delete it. Now I know that there are some other ways of doing this, but honestly, I, this has been just the absolute, like, I think this one has the best results by the end and I don't have to move stuff around and try to line up the circles and all that so all right so now i've got that and if you see any that are a little off like this one just a teeny off i'm just gonna go ahead and move those over just a little bit and uh maybe these ease just a tiny bit um luckily they move kind of slow if you just kind of drag it so all right so now i'm happy with that so i'm gonna go ahead and select it and I'm gonna go ahead and make that a compound path again so that it's just all one thing. So now, there we are. So compared to how it was before, sorry, I have them over here. So this right here is what we started with. And this is what we have. And this is going to be so much easier to weed and still looks super cute and we still have that same font so there's that one um so the next one that we're gonna go ahead and do is this one now this one is oh yeah i would not want to weed this one and i'd probably end up losing half of it also so this one we definitely want to go ahead and get that thicker but this one right here is not going to work as well with the offset and the what we're going to be doing with this one does not work as well with this font so what we're going to do is we're going to select this now the first thing i want to do is make sure that we don't have these little lines connecting i just want this to be one piece so i'm going to go ahead right click it and weld it and that just made all of that one piece so that's also going to make it easier to weed now from here i'm going to go ahead and make that a compound path so that i can go ahead and make this all one thing again okay but it's still pretty thin we want to thicken that up so now we're going to come over here to our handy panel and the fourth button down it is your line style panel and i'm going to go ahead and click on that and that box is going to open here now um, make sure your words are selected and what we're going to do from here is we are going to um, change that line thickness. So I am going to take this here and I'm going to drag it over until it is thicker and you're just going to kind of eyeball it until you look like you feel like you're at a point where you are going to be able to still have the look of your font because you don't want to lose anything with that because I mean if you go like too thick then you're starting to lose everything so um honestly I feel like if I'm sticking around about like 4.5 to like 6 then you're pretty good um, I think 6 is going to be a little bit too much let's try 5.5 okay I'm pretty happy with that one so I am feeling pretty good about that and that's all you have to do with that one on there. So we have those thicker lines right here. And then what you're going to go ahead and do when you're ready to cut with this one, you're going to want to make sure you're only cutting the edge. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure you just have that cut edge selected. All right. That way you're not worrying about getting like those middle pieces and stuff, but all right, bing. And if we kind of look at the comparison now between the two here, um, as you can see, I mean, this one right here is just so much easier than that one would have been to weed. And then also this one right here, same thing. So if you have any questions at all, please, please let me know. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.